because my skin used to be so bad. And now, for like the first time in my entire life, well, it's a little bit crazy right now. It's not horrible. So that's a miracle in and of itself. Even for a snack, that's not whipped cream because I keep eating this whipped cream. It keeps getting me more excited. My dog likes whipped cream too. Our dogs just eat whipped cream because I don't think they are. But my dog really likes whipped cream. Whipped cream really doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. Except for the rate that I'm eating it at, it probably has more sugar than I think. For some reason, I think that this is better than eating ice cream. Hey guys, so I figured out that my uh, fridge kind of has like the best lighting in my house because it's like 12 o'clock at night right now, I guess a.m. right now. So we're gonna do my introduction in the fridge. So we're gonna be trying out this face mask that I didn't realize that I was allergic to. I really just wanted to use a face mask and it's the only one we have and it just happened to have almonds, which I'm allergic to, but I can put an almond on my arm. Oh, frick, I just rubbed some of this off. I can put an almond on my arm and I don't die, so I'm pretty sure I'll be okay. I've been eating a lot of whipped cream, so I'm a little bit hyper. I don't even know if that makes you hyper because it doesn't really have that much sugar in it. It says that it's less than one gram, but I guess that's per servings. And there's seven and four servings per container. Okay, maybe it was a sugar. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be trying this. Make sure you uh, subscribe, join the family. I post a video every other day is what I'm trying to do. I kind of slacked a little bit during the summertime because I've been working a lot, but we're back now. So yeah. So we're gonna be uh, washing my face is what I use during the skin care routine. But I'm just gonna be using the Cetaphilo cleanser and we're just gonna scrub my face a little bit. I don't feel like taking off my mascara because that'll take like an extra two minutes. And we don't have time for that here. We gotta go, we gotta get it if we're gonna die of a allergic reaction on our entire face. Okay, while we're at it, I thought I'd remind you of a little skincare chat, just because I cut my skincare routine pretty basic. I kind of just wash my face in the morning and then at night, and then I have this uh, cream stuff that my dermatologist gave me that I put on. But, um, yeah, I realized that when I like struggled a lot with acne, that I would do things like, you know, face masks or ointments or whatever like when my skin got really bad so I realized that in order to prevent that oh my, my hair looks crazy I need to be doing things while my face is clear to keep it clear it's like what like, my face is about as good as it gets I kind of just ended my period so it kind of had to freak out so I mean this is a lot of me justifying the fact that my skin isn't actually clear but it's way better than it was but we're gonna go for it why is this a shot I'm gonna go for it with this um Odif fix. What kind of plan words are they trying to do? Okay, well it doesn't say it doesn't say contains tree nuts, even though it does. <laughs> I don't know what the consistency is supposed to be. It is, it's been in our fridge for the past like oh my god. Oh boy. I don't use one of the face masks. One of my favorite people in the whole world. His name's Logan. He told me to do like a face mask video, but like I never use face masks because I never, I never feel like paying for them or like I never really think that they actually do anything. So I guess we'll find out. I look like I have oatmeal on my, wait, <laughs> that's what this is, I'm pretty sure. Oh uh, yeah, let's go. This is a little, oh my gosh, look the almonds. That is what's gonna kill me. If I ate these right now, actually nothing would probably happen. I'm most allergic to cashews, and I think pistachios. But let's do a little story time. Oakley! So, let's see, this was about when I was um like 15, I think. No, I think it might have been older, like 16. And I'm 18 now, so that like really wasn't that long ago. We went to Disney, this is Disneyland, I think, yeah. And we went to like a fancy restaurant because we were with our family. And, um, <laughs> there was, like, ice cream and, with our meal, and it was, like, a little ball of ice cream rolls and Oreos. And this was, like, back, because I've always known that I've been, like, allergic to tree nuts, because all growing up, whenever I would eat them, I would throw up and stuff. And my brother would always say, you can't just say you're allergic to something because you don't like it. And that was so annoying. And then I got, like, allergy tested, and it said, you know, like, I was actually allergic. Oh, my gosh, look at my veins. <laughs> that I was actually allergic to it. And, um... 
So, so yeah, I was talking about that I was actually allergic, but I didn't really, I like, avoided nuts because like it made me throw up, so like I never ate them. So we're at Disney and um, yeah, we get this ice cream ball and I was like, is pistachio, like our pistachio is a tree nut? And stupid me, every other nut other than a peanut is a freaking tree nut. And so, yeah, that was stupid on my part. My mom was like, let me look it up. So she goes to look it up. I just eat the entire thing. And I was like, because it was so good. It was delicious, I remember. And she was like, I was like, is it? And she's like, nope. Just, a, I don't know, like placebo effect my entire body on the allergy that it has. But, um, but yeah, cut to me, like. 45 minutes later, like, I don't feel too good. Like, I'm pretty sure it's a tree now, but I was like, yeah, you think I'm, like, throwing up in the bathroom. So, pistachios, like, oh, no, it's because I've had pistachio ice cream before, but I'm pretty sure that was, like, real pistachio. So, yeah, we're gonna leave this on, and then we're gonna come back. Let's hope I don't die. Okay, ladies and gentle fish. I think that's going from a drop. I don't know, but... Um, yeah, I don't know why I took such a long video of the mask actually on my face and me realizing that there's almonds on it even though I already knew that and that's what the entire video is about. But anyway, yeah, it kind of felt like nothing on my skin. Usually face masks burn and this one was actually kind of nice because it didn't burn. And so, you know, I kind of just scrubbed it off and yeah, here I am, you know, just chilling, hanging out. Um, yeah, this is the lotion that I use. It's just kind of the set of the one. Again, super gentle. I used to use a bunch of, you know, like super harsh ones, but that one's really nice. And then I have this Epiduo, what is it called? Epi serum. I don't know. I got it from my dermatologist, and you're supposed to use a tiny pea size amount. And sometimes I put too much, but it's supposed to like dry out your face really bad, so I'm not really supposed to use that much. But yeah, I put that on my face, and it kind of makes my face red because the Epiduo or Epi, whatever it's called, it, um, it kind of burns because it's kind of um, like bleach on your skin. But I only use it like once every few days because I you use it every day and it like made my face basically look like the Grand Canyon and the desert. So, yeah. So I did not die and good job me for not dying. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> but yeah, subscribe and join the family and I'll see you next time. Bye.